There's a oh really my good goodness. One, yeah? Jesus the- Christ. Hey, Mr. A Force, come again, you know. <laughs> hey, bro, only, only, everybody is asking for Oli Harrison on this show. Everybody. I swear to God. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Bro, we, 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 we are reviving the thing. <laughs> bro, all right, so listen, we want to, we, I mean, I, I know you're driving right now. Um, yeah. It'd be. Good. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want you to be guilty of you driving and talking at the same time. But um, we really want to get your opinion on AJ appointing this new trainer, Angel Fernandez, because <laughs> people are just like they're like shocked. So we want to know what the A fools thinks about this appointment. Um. And, and and really what's going on why he didn't call for the a forces advice so you know what the thing is now i had i saw the interview i i saw the interview with um michelle joy phelps yeah yeah i saw the interview and i was like wait because i'm i'm just sitting there waiting for this now he's already just given the ready said the last brother's been in his camp for the last three camps, right? Yeah, so, yes. so I, what I know of Angel, like, like what Joshua needs, he needed a, a complete, like, connect or complete the right, he, the, like a complete refabrication of what everything's going. So the fact that he's there in camp and he's already been there, and now he's appointed. It's like the same thing. There's no difference there. You get me? We were looking. I was personally looking for. But it's like the same. It's the same thing, isn't it? So that's what was up. And then the interview. The interview. I was like, mm. I didn't. The interview didn't make me feel. You know, I didn't like the interview. I'm just keeping it real. I didn't like what he was saying in the interview. Yeah, it wasn't a good look. You know what, Audley? I'll be honest with you. What you just said just sparked something in my head. That that what you just said. The guy's been in there for the last three camps. Yeah. So so yeah. what's the change? Nah, it's not a good look, bro. I'm telling you that real talk. Like Joshua is not a good look. And just the way you're talking in the interview, it's not a good look. You know, it's mm-hmm. like, I have to do this, I have to, you don't have to do anything, you just got to be who you are, and it will it will come, but uh, the fundamentals, like I told you people, I've, I've, I've come back to boxing, I've got my gym now, I just set up my gym with the brother. Come on, what's the name of the gym please, plug, plug. A4 Boxing. A4 Boxing, and like... Right now, I'm talking to a heavyweight right now. I'm talking to one heavyweight right now. We'll see where it goes. Um, but I, like the thing is, the fundamentals that like I'm fortunate for Joshua because he came pro and they moved him quick. He didn't get a chance to learn the fundamentals. I think that Harris was Harris was not. Like I said, I had the best students, best teachers in the game. And for a heavyweight, there's a certain things you need to do. And and Joshua hasn't done it yet. It's not too late to do it. But it will really like even the longevity and just like all the little tricks that I've I've been fortunate to learn all those tricks. Like he doesn't have it, and, and the Fernandez can't teach it to him. And having those tricks will allow him. Like Tyson Fury really has it, you know, he's got with Sugar Hill, and he kind of had that completely be boxing for so long. Tyson Fury really had those kind of tricks, but now he's gone with Sugar Hill. We took him to the next level where he's got even more of those tricks come from Manuel. There's only a few trainers who have that teaching that go back from another teacher who te- taught you the proper way to fight, not just heavyweight, just like there's certain fundamentals that Joshua don't know right now. Like he ain't going to get that from Angel because Angel's already been in the camp for the last three fights, so we know what's going to happen here. No change. Mm. Oh, yeah. You are a gun. You Done. reiterated what I've been saying over an hour ago. I thank you for jumping on just like that. You are the man. Big up A Force Audley Arison, 
A Force Boxing Gym coming. What part of America is going to be, Audley? California. So it's my bedroom gym. I'm not going to like, like my bedroom gym. It's called, it's called 805 MMA. So it's he's, uh, he's got an amateur boxing gym and he's got a like mixed martial arts gym. But in the daytime, he's working. So it's, it's empty in the daytime. I'm like, perfect, because that's the time I need to go in there. I'm going to get take two fighters, like 10 to 12 and one to three, the two fighters I'm going to take. And I'm going to bring them to a championship or bring them back to a championship. You get what I'm saying? Two, that's just two, I'm not taking no 100 fighters, just two fighters, maybe just one. And I will bring them a championship or bring them back to a championship if they trust me and, they, and to get the hype. This is like real talk. I really have some like advanced knowledge about uh, training, strategy, technique. And obviously, if they need guidance on the managerial side, they don't obviously have that too. But this is just about me getting somebody to a championship. And I have it all to give. And I'm going to give it. So it's in California, Southern California. So hey, if there's any fighters... Near the top, at the top, when I get back to the top. I'm in California now, I've got my gym, and I'm looking for two fighters who who look in for those fundamentals, and I will help get you there. Two fighters I'm looking for. Yes, Come yes, on. Harrison. Big, Big up, up to Audley. Mr. A-Force, former Olympic gold medalist, former ABA champion, former Commonwealth Games gold medalist, former European champion, two-time prize winner, and WBA heavyweight title challenger. I wish. I wish. WBS. Oh, yeah, I had a WBA challenger. I hate it. Okay. Of course I'm sharp. It's me you're talking to, bro. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Thank you very Big much. All right, man. One love. Bless up. Bless up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, Too much powers on this thing here. Too much powers. Again, don't play with the black book, the John Wick book, the book which has got more powers than black magic. Spencer Fearon's unbelievable, unattainable, <laughs> unapproachable <laughs> black book. Yes, sir. There you go, Ben. Thank right. you for the hundred pounds. Thank you, Gary Chains, for your forty-four ninety-nine, and urging us to get Audley on the thing, even though he was joking. But you can't joke in this together because yeah, bro, it's too powerful. 